Hey there, Johnny Daniel, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! How are you tonight? It is Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Good evening. I hope you're doing well. So for tonight, we are doing a quick project because I know Valentine's Day is coming up. So we're doing a quick project to so you can do if you're invited for a quick dinner or that kind of thing, like a host gift or whatever you need, you know, just whatever. So tonight's is a wine bottle tag. It could actually be on any bottle. So it could be a Martinelli's, it could be just about anything. Anyways, um, with a pocket in it for some chocolates to match the wine or whatever kind of liquid you've got. So I'm gonna flip you around. We're gonna get to creating and start talking about raffles and all that fun stuff. So hold on just a second. If you're on with me, please say hello. While I get all this stuff finished and set. Well, that didn't go into the holder the same way. Give me just two seconds. I'm sorry. That's uh, pretty darn close. Okay. So, like I said, for tonight, we're going to be doing a um, bottle tag. And we'll get to going, right? So... So if you're on with me, please say hello. Um, let's see. The raffle for tonight is this cleaning starter kit. It has in it a block. It has in it a microfiber cloth, a chamois, alcohol wipes, and sanitizer. So, hey Cheryl, hey Lise, how are you guys? So the raffle tonight, what you do is you put about a dime size of sanitizer on your block to clean it. You take the microfiber cloth and you scrub it down and then kind of dry it. And then you take the alcohol wipes and really sanitize it, clean it to get all the, mainly you're trying to get the adhesive and all the oils and that kind of stuff off. And then after you're done with the alcohol wipes, you wipe it down again with the microfiber to just make sure it's dry. The chamois is in there so you can clean your stamps. And that just requires water, just like any other chamois. So that is the prize for tonight. So you probably need the question of the day, right? <laughs> so, question of the day. Do you have plans for Valentine's Day? And no plans count as plans, by the way, in my book. So, hashtag question of the day. Do you have plans for Valentine's Day? I'm just curious. You don't have to go into specifics at all. I, I'm just curious, that's all. So, do you have a tradition? Do you make a special cake? Do you have a special cookie? Do you boycott the whole thing and just read a book? You know. What plans do you have for Valentine's Day? So for tonight, I've got a couple pieces of Ghirardelli chocolate. Those are going to go in the holder. And I've already got my stamps on blocks. Um, the stamps are from the Sweet Conversation set. So I've got Happy Valentine's Day and Happy to Have You in My Life. It really could be anything. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day, but since we're so close, that's the why. Okay? So... For tonight, I have polished pink paper. I have this Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. <laughs> yeah, you have to work. I know, right? Um, we have Sweet Talk Designer Series paper. We've got Whisper White and the backside to that Designer Series paper. Gorgeous Grape Sheer Ribbon. And... 2021 to 23 in color, the little gems. That is what's needed, and gorgeous grape ink as well as ribbon, sorry. Now, this top you can do with, yay, you have plans. 
you can do with a circle, you can do with a scallop circle, you can do with an oval. The main part is, what do you need for it to fit over a bottle? So whatever you're fitting it over, give it about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch more, and that's the hole you need, okay? So let's get going, shall we? All right, so I've got my papers here and let's get to going. Believe it or not, would you guess there's no tear and tape on this project? Can you believe that? I couldn't when I first started it, but there is none, 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 none. So. I've got my Bungenta Madness cardstock. We're gonna cut this at 11 inches by three. And if I remember right, the one side's already at 11, but I just wanna double check and make sure that side is not the 11 inch side. Yep, we've already got the 11 inch side, so now I gotta do the three inch side. Okay, so that is our tag. What's what? What didn't you understand? What did I say? <laughs> Cheryl? <laughs> oh, ask me again, honey. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, so 11 by three on the 11 inch side, we're going to score at score. So I'm going to put my cutting blade up here, right? So hopefully I don't mess with it. We're going to score at three and a quarter score. We're gonna score at eight and a half. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, it's really weird that there's no tear and tape on this. I was really tempted to add it, I'll be honest with you. So yeah, kind of a crazy design, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna cut everything first. So I've got the three score lines on here. Hi, Miss Penny, question of the day, great, but you need to answer it. So question of the day is, do you have plans for Valentine's Day? Hashtag question of the day. Yes, no, specifics, not specifics, whatever you want. I'm raffling off a cleaning starting kit, starter kit, okay? All right, so Whisper White, we're gonna go one and a half by three. If I can count, that would be amazing, right? <laughs> some days so there's my three inch so now we're gonna do one and a half and we're gonna do this twice I need two pieces because we need for one for inside and we need one for outside on top so there's my one and a half by threes okay and then sweet talk paper I need a five by three and a one by three so this is three and I think I have just enough in this one, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Either that or I'm just going to be shy. So we've got five by three. And let's see. Am I going to be shy? One. One. Okay. Done. <laughs> I love it when things work out. So that is our paper. So we're done with that. Penny, question of the day. You need to answer the question, hun. So hashtag question of the day, space. Do you have plans for Valentine's Day? Yes, no, otherwise. <laughs> so I'm gonna get all my pieces and parts here. We're gonna stamp our couple of pieces that we're gonna do. So we're gonna do happy Valentine's Day. And we're just going to center this. And I hope I can do that hanging over. But, you know, we're going to get as close as we can. It's a little crooked. So I'm going to flip and see if I can do better. It's hard when you can't, like, stand up and rearrange, you know? Oh, that one's worse than the first one. All right, so we're just going to sit tight with that. And then the second one is happy to have you in my life. I hope if you're giving somebody a bottle of wine, you're happy to see them right? <laughs> so, oh, alrighty. So we're going to close that up. 
we need 17 inches of ribbon, give or take, right? <laughs> so the bottom of the mat, even though I have this flipped over, the entire mat is 16 inches. Why do I know that? Just because I do. So we're gonna go 16 and we're just gonna go a smidge over and that's about 17, give or take, <laughs> and we'll be okay, okay? So we've got that going on. All right, now, are we set? Are we ready? Okay, let me punch the hole first. This is actually our top. Can you believe that? Kind of weird, right? So our top is the bigger section. The double score goes on the bottom because that becomes kind of your gusset, as it were, for um, your pocket, okay? So this is gonna go over like this and hang, and then this is gonna get folded backwards. So if you're being super particular, the two bottom score lines should be opposite of the top one so they fold correctly, but I'm not going there. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so now these are gonna go down here like this, and you're like, but seriously, no glue? Yeah, no glue, okay. We are gonna use seal to put the paper on, but that's it. Is that crazy? So, all right, so I'm gonna have my purple stripes going out for this guy. There's my sample, okay? This is exactly the same width. We're gonna go up about mm, an eighth of an inch or so, just so it mats nicely, because you want room for that ribbon to go across. That's the why, okay? And then I'm gonna put stamp and seal on here. And this is gonna go for this section here. And this is the same width with about an eighth of an inch on both the top and bottom, okay? So there's that, there's that. And you're like, John, but it doesn't glue? No, it really doesn't. So. Okay, happy to have you in my life. That's gonna go down here. I should open this and show you, huh? Should I open this and show you? And there's no glue even on the ribbon. Is this just craziness? See how this goes? Okay, and then this goes up and just gets tied around so it can be used again and again. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna glue this one down just with stamp and seal, no tear and tape. I know, weird, right? We're gonna grab kind of in the middle. And this is the same width, so you go end to end. If you don't want it the same width, cut it just a smidge smaller, but that's what it is, okay? So this Happy Valentine's Day is gonna go on last, but honestly, I even wanna get my ties done, I wanna get my chocolates in there before I put that on, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck these down in. It's just this simple, right? This is gonna go underneath. Straighten it out as best you can one-handed, right? I guess you could do it beforehand, but you know, I'm not always that coordinated. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up and you're gonna bring up and you're gonna make these even. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to have the back matching the front and you want it to go right across that little ledge that you don't have paper on, okay? So you're gonna go one, and since I want it really to cinch down, I'm gonna go twice so it kind of cinches down better. You want that chocolate packed down in there. And then don't be scared to, um, really kind of cinch it down because this is the only thing holding those chocolates in. Got it? So you really want to cinch this down as it creeps up. You got to kind of pull down. That's why you have that edge of that paper. So you really are just going to hunker down on it. I know, technical terms, right? And you're going to be it's gonna go back and forth on you and you're just gonna wiggle and deal and it'll be fine. 
and you're going to make your loop big enough to make a bow. Of course, when I'm on a live, guess what doesn't happen, right? The bow. <laughs> so, I mean, you can knot it, but if you knot it, guess what happens? You can't use it again. You have to cut it, right? So, you got to do a bow. You just have to. And of course, my bow's all wonky tonight, but it's going to be okay. And you're going to tighten it as best you can, and you're going to trim the ends. I know, no tearing tape though, guys. Really. Okay. So there's that, okay? And see how it's kinda, we just gotta kinda maneuver a little bit and make it pretty and it'll be fine. And then grab our Stampin' Seal. Make sure you glue the right one down. That's the least crooked. <laughs> and then you're gonna put it kinda centered above your chocolates, okay? So there's that. Pretty easy, right? And then I'm just grabbing the pink, the purple out of the paper. So I'm just doing all these different um, gems. And then we have our holder already done. Simple, simple, right? So look at this. Ready? Isn't that gorgeous? And so simple! Like, really stupid simple. So, all right. I know, it's just, it comes together great, doesn't it? <laughs> so, you really gotta have the right ribbon, though. If you don't have the right ribbon, it doesn't stand out as well. I tried it with the white earlier and I was like, oh no, that's not quite right. So, alrighty, so that is the project for this evening. So I guess we should move to the raffle, right? <laughs> so question of the day, do you have plans for Valentine's Day? Hashtag question of the day. Yes, no, maybe, tell me, whatever. Doesn't matter to me um, what you tell me, but I know I love that sheer ribbon. The only thing is that I don't like about the sheer ribbon is glue dots are sticky through it. So you really got to position accordingly, which means on the back side and on the front, you're just going to leave it be. Otherwise, it just has that, you can see them and it's just a little sticky. So it's just not good. So I'm grabbing my foofy pen. My tickets are all over the place tonight. So give me a second. I'm going to roll them up. If you're on with me and you have not answered the question of the day yet, hashtag question of the day. Do you have plans for Valentine's Day? Alrighty. I changed out my basket because my fingers were getting caught in the bottom of it and I actually got a splinter under my um, under my nail and it was not pretty. So I decided to switch it to something smooth for right now until I find something super cute and you know that works but it is what it is right? So all right, so I'm scrolling through, guys. This is last call for question of the day. I see Lisa and I see Cheryl. If you want to participate, please answer with hashtag question of the day. I can write it would be amazing. So let's see here. All right, so I just see Lisa and Cheryl. That's all I got. Ah, Penny, just in the nick of time. <laughs> You're making heart shaped pancakes for hubby. Do they have chocolate chips in it? That is the question. <laughs> I love it. So cute. 
Do they have bacon crumbles in them? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Alrighty, so I've got the three tickets in there. No. Okay. I guess we're trying to be healthy, huh? <laughs> so we've got the three tickets in here. I'm going to shake it up really good. I reset, I reset. Okay. Lisa, you win the cleaning kit. Hon, I will text you right after the um, live has finished. I'm actually up in Yucca tomorrow, so I don't know if that works for you. Anyways, so thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed, and if nothing else, it works great for Easter stuff too. So um, thanks again. Follow me, stampingwithjohnny.com, and have an awesome evening and i will see you all again real soon so thanks again and go create bye bye